uh, my cat wants me to talk about uh, the the sophomore album by Corn called Life Is Peachy. This was their second album, which came. This was the, their second uh, album on, on and more. Hold up, that they that they put out. It was a release the summer of 1996, and like um, it, it's they it's I think um, it, it was it's um, in my opinion this is like their heaviest album to date. <clears throat> like the uh, the guitar riffs sound more monstrous. The uh, the uh, lyrics sound more creepy. Uh, like the, the yeah this 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 I think yeah. I want to say, um, "Life Is Peachy" is Corn's darkest album. Out of all of them, yeah, th- this is like their darkest album to date. But like, um, how would I feel about this album? I really like this album. I, I, I think I played this album repeat. This al- I, I bought this album my senior year of high school, and like, uh, this is one of the main albums that I played constantly in my CD player. I just I just walked around the school just playing this just uh just playing this uh, CD. Constantly, over and over and over. I don't even know if I, uh, I don't even know if I, um, if I ever gave this album a rest. I still have it, but like, um, I don't play it as much. Now, see if I, if I bought me another CD portable CD player, I would probably would. Okay, but like the first, the first track is a track called "Twist," where uh, jo- Jonathan Davis, the singer and the vocalist, is like um, a screaming and doing this weird gibberish. He has this signature gibberish. A thing with the, he's not really saying that he's just saying gibberish and like that, that that's it that's basically his shtick and then it has a song uh called called uh chai or she whatever this it is what would that stand for i don't know like like uh, jonathan davis like his like the title the uh, chorus like sick off the same old thing so i take a hoax me bye sick off the same old thing Okay. Where, where was I? Yeah. Well. Okay. So sorry about that. Got interrupted. My, my, my battery's going down. Well. Anyway, it's like a the, the song "Chai," or uh, like a it has, it has him screaming, singing, like me entering my head, feeling like I'm God with the world around me. Can't you feel it? Yeah. Like. You know, like he was like um like a uh, Jonathan they was like super depressed when he was making these songs and writing these lyrics and they they uh they showed in his uh they showed in his uh in uh in his presence and his music and his lyrics and whatnot and then had songs like lost uh, like songs like why oh, yeah 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 okay like a, 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 a track number three lost why can't I decide all the things I try? Always going in my mind, a thorn in my spot. Side, mm-hmm. And then after that, it's a song called uh, Swallow. Well, it, it has like this, this. Fuck yes. It just, it just trans- transitions into that hard, uh, heavy, a uh, groove sound. Like follow, follow me. I swallow, forget me. Oh hell no! And at the end, he's a like, punk freak, punk ass sissy. I'm a freak, punk ass sissy. I'm a freak, punk ass sissy. I'm a freak. And then after that, it's the uh, track number five, a, a song called like a, a little interlude called Porno Creep. It's not saying anything. It's just playing the guitar and like the drum beat. It has, it has like this funky porno sound to it. After that's a song called "Good God," where he, which is like one of his most um his most popular songs. It's about why you get the fuck out of my face? No, why you get the fuck out of my face? No, in the night, and to my yeah, like you you got to hear that song. He just like that that was that's the chorus. Um, 
once you get the fuck out of my face, he's like, I scream with I scream without a sound. How could you take away everything that I was? Make me a fucking slave. And then after that, it's a song called um, called Mr. Rogers. It like um, it's like it's like boomerang, simmerang, demerang, ah, boomerang, simmer. The time has come for us to be. And then it has that guitar. What's wrong? What's become of me? Boom, boom. Time has come. We'll have something to talk about. Boom, boom. I'm yeah, like like. That, that that song is like an unusual song, but it has a catchy song. Like a lot of these songs, more like some of these songs are catchy as hell on here. Like this is like a catchy album, and it's a dark album all rolled into one. After that, it's track number eight. It, it really has no title. It just had those bleep words because he just saying nasty shit. Like uh, he talking about fucking titty sucking blue ball bitch, and he like oh shit fucking ass licking piss sucking cunt reason. He he just saying nasty um oh ninth grade shit that, no no that, that, he, he sound like he's uh sound like some eighth grader on the street saggy tits swinging between your fat crusty armpits big cat hair me mo between your pussy lips oh shit content content fart piss boss ass pecker queef that that's what he's saying on on track number eight I think it, it, the uh the, the track uh, the title is called bleep because. Because he said that if that song was played on the radio, which it never was, the, everything would be bleeped on it. And then it has this, this, uh, track number nine called "No Place to Hide," which is one of the uh, uh, titles, which is one of the uh, singles that they uh, put off of his, off of there. And then track number ten, a song called "Wicked," where, uh, where they where they did a cover of uh, one of of, uh, of Ice Cube's song. Uh, they they performed this song with Chino Moreno of uh, uh, of of the Deftones. And then it has a track number 11. It's a song called uh, Adidas, All Day I Dream About Sex. The I don't know your fucking name, so what? Let's fuck. All day I dream about sex. And then after that, it's a, a track called, it's a, another skit called Low Rider, where, they, uh, where he plays his bagpipe. And, um, he plays his bagpipe and, and, and Fieldy, the bassist, he like, all oh, my friends in the low rider. They, they're, they're basically doing like a brief interlude of, of, of Wars, a low rider song. And after that song, there's a song called uh, Ass Itch that I hate writing shit. It is so stupid. What's your problem today? And then, like, the, the, um, the chorus goes, like um, yo, that's what that's when Fieldy playing that that unusual sound of bass. And then uh, track number fourteen is called "Kill You." That that that's that's okay. Uh, I, I I barely listened to that track, but I really like this album by Corn. This is this is their heaviest and their darkest album. This album doesn't sound like all the other uh, uh, songs that all the. The album that came before it and all the ones that came after it. It's in a class of its own. This is a bomb ass album. I give this album like a nine point eight. Yeah, I really like this album. And so does Bro Bro.